like the maintenance the maintenance this is why you can't be with broke guys like you can't you can't. if they're not paying me the big bucks um my name is casperia i'm ghost i'm just getting makeup all over my bonnet this was not the plan oh my god some people just talk some people just talk to talk to talk to talk to talk to talk to talk like don't center yourself when you're expressing yourself i'm going crazy <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while i haven't sat in front of the camera in a long time i've actually kind of missed filming you guys if you miss seeing my videos let me know in the comments i know you missed you thank you thank you i know I'm, I'm that important right i make such a big difference in your life anyways today i'm just going to be spilling some tea on how my summer went you know some of the acting gigs that i did and just talking about some random topics as well such as settling for jobs and relationships and you know how some people are just not self-aware so if you just want to hear me rambling and doing this makeup look you probably won't even see it i was trying to use my yellow eyeshadow as an eyeliner but man i don't even know what happened but anyways you guys my hair has grown so much like it's actually crazy anyways if you want to hear everything i have to say then just keep on watching do you like this setup it was kind of a last minute thing but yeah just keep on watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and you know all of that stuff okay so the setup is a little bit different today but you know as usual i have all my makeup here so let's just get right into it um first of all for those of you that are going back to school this semester i wish you guys the best i hope everything goes well for you i hope the semester is not too stressful too hectic i can't relate okay but i hope your semester goes well honestly and truly okay so you know you guys know how i do my makeup by now so i'm just gonna start with my base and you know talk about my summer a bit you know i have to look straight into the mirror I took some notes here so that's why i'll be looking to the side if you guys see me you guys this summer was honestly <sighs> i'll say like it was quite tumultuous like i don't even know the word to use by the way i already primed my face moisturized preps that's why it's like glowing as usual <laughs> But yeah, this summer was just crazy. Like if you saw in my if you watched my vlog that I posted like maybe a month ago now. Yeah, it's probably it's up to a month now. I was telling you guys at some point that if you watched up to that point that I had like so many mosquito bites and like you guys they were so bad. I was really scared by mosquito bites. I didn't actually want to go out again. Like anything that was outdoors, I just was like, yeah, I'm not down for it. After some point, like it just was like too many scars like if i show you like my hand even like my tummy you can see some scars at the back like it's just a lot and i'm like i don't want to be looking at this thing like i felt like, i felt like i could just literally go outside in the night to like park the car and get like six mosquito bites like i'm not even over exaggerating maybe not park the car but like somewhere where there is more like you know plants and trees and all those things because that's where i got beaten bad the most like it was really really bad oh it really was honestly so bad like i don't miss it i don't know at some point i started like reminiscing my skin i was like oh my god but i don't want to focus too much about it because you know there there are bigger there are bigger problems in the world i don't want to get into that headspace <sighs> So yeah, that was one thing that happened. Actually, let me ask you guys overall, did you like enjoy your summer? Because I know like prior to this summer year, like there was a lot of hype, post pandy, everyone is going to see their friends and blah, blah, blah. Like, was your summer like actually like a good time? Was it just mediocre? Or were you actually scared to go out? So you actually was not that, like was your life dramatic was it crazy please spill the tea guys i'm giving you the tea so i really appreciate if you go in the comments and spill the tea you know it's a two-way relationship <sighs> but yeah i don't know for me overall you know i don't i don't like i don't want to say like delete it entirely because you know there's always like good things that come out of like every 
situation that is you know challenging and all of that because there's some like me finishing school now that's something that i don't want to do because you think i want to be sitting in class now listening listening to a professor no i'm good love <laughs> i'll pass but yeah like it was just a stressful stressful summer me so i had i was like hyping summer up in my head i was like oh my gosh you know Ooh. i was like oh my gosh hot girl you know i'm going to do this i'm going to do that like i was on i was even on like bumble bff trying to make friends i was just like anybody that wants to hang out as long as you have a good time i'm down like that was my energy at the beginning of the summer and just went downhill very 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 fast so I, I never even met any. See, this is the thing, eh? With this whole, like, online socializing, like, both dating and having friends, like, I don't really like it. I know, like, it's a technology age and all of that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it, but it's just, like, personally for me, nothing ever comes out of them, nothing substantial. Actually, I met one girl on there, and then she ended up joining a pyramid scheme. And then we stopped talking, but then she left the pyramid scheme and I talked to her recently. So maybe we'll actually like be friends. She would, she would, and it's only because she left the pyramid scheme because there were a lot of girls on Bumble BFF that were trying to get other girls to join their pyramid scheme. And like they would start insulting you if you say no. Like, why are you talking down on my hustle? And like, I'm not talking down on your hustle, sis. You're in a scam. You're wasting your youth. You're wasting your life. There's so much more that you could be doing out there. And you're spending your life in a pyramid scheme. Like, you're, nah, there's so much more to life than that. Please, guys. No pyramid schemes here. There's no, I, I'm so against. It really bothers me so much. Like, pyramid schemes drag young people into them to be, you know, waste is where you're wasting your life and they'll be promising you money and it's always the most vulnerable like part of the population like single moms and like broke students that they're always like yeah come and join you can make money mindsets da 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 and anything that does not happen like if you don't reach a goal they'll say it's your fault you're not working hard enough guys now nah, please we're not about that life over here if you have any friends in pyramid schemes Please just I feel like it will just cause a strain in the friendship. Like if I had a friend that was in a pyramid scheme and like I tried to tell them like that it just wasn't good and they weren't listening to me. I don't know what I would do to be honest. Like I'll probably still talk to them but I'll be like we can't talk about your pyramid scheme. Like we can't be hanging out and every time you're just promoting it to me, you know. So yeah, like I was on Bumble BFF and all of that, you know, trying to meet people and just like be like, yeah, whoever wants to hang out, I'm down, all of that. But like I said, nothing, nothing substantial. People will say, oh, let's hang out, and then they'll just go ghost, become Caspar, Casperia for the girls. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not a fan of all this online. Like I can't take online interactions seriously until I meet them in person. Who else agrees? I want to know if you agree. Let me know in the comments. Okay guys, I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll come back and continue the video. Give it a thumbs up if you're already enjoying it. I know you're already having a good time. Don't lie because I'm a good time, okay? It's fine, you can admit it. It's okay. Thank you. Guys, I look you want to get my eyebrows laminated because I feel like it would make life so much easier but the shimani We'll wait for a sugar daddy. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, the shmoney is guys being being a girl, like if you're a girl that actually likes all this dress up and makeup and hair and doing your brows and doing your lashes, like the maintenance. The maintenance. This is why you can't be with broke guys. Like you can't. You can't be with broke guys. I don't want to help you help you make your life easier once in a while. You're the only one Pay for your skincare, pay for your makeup, pay for your nails, pay to get your brows laminated or threaded or waxed or whatever, pay um, or microbladed, pay to get your eyelash extensions, pay to get your downstairs waxed or your laser hair removal. Like only one person and these dusty ass guys in the street, they don't want to help you, they want to complain and say that are you know a feminist. Guys, don't date broke guys. All my queens out there, 
if you maybe if you're a very simple girl no actually no don't date broke guys please they are the, they have the benefits or they are the benefit of the patriarchy they have no excuse whatsoever if you can get your ass up every day and go and get your coin and go and get your paycheck then why can't they do not date broke guys thank you <sighs> i have not done my makeup in a while so i don't think my brows are looking that great but we'll continue and I'm actually trying a new concealer today from Sephora. I don't know why I went to go and spend money there, Sha, but Kosas. Never, I never actually even heard of it before. But yeah, let's continue while I conceal my face. Why is this thing? Mm, looks kind of pretty. Okay. So, I was telling you guys that like this summer was kind of, you know, not my best. But regardless of that, I was happy that like I I booked like a good number of gigs though. Like I definitely was like just trying to get as many as I could. Like I was like always refreshing my emails to see if my agents message me. And like I'll go on Facebook to go and look for to go and look for gigs and stuff and like it, it paid off it did I'm very thankful you guys there was this production I was on this Nigerian productions by the way um Nigerians Africans black people whatever we need to honestly like change our reputation of like unprofessionalism and stuff like that because like Every Nigerian production I've been to, I always like regret going there because it's just so messy, so disorganized, so all over the place. Like, it's just so messy. Like, we need to do so much better. It's like we'll be complaining that oh, we have a bad reputation and like we still keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. You tell people to come at 8 a.m., you don't start till 11 or 12. Like, how are people going to respect your time, you know? Yeah, I went to this Nigerian production, regret, like, I just, oh, you guys, I went there, actually, I was, at first, they were like, oh, the call time is 8 a.m., then the next thing, they were like, oh, you can come at whatever time you want, and then when I was trying to leave, because the place was really far, and I didn't drive there, even if I drove there, I would still have wanted to leave, right, because it was far, and, like, they were telling me, no, like, I should wait, like, I should wait that they will help me find somebody that will give me a ride to where I was going. You know, I asked this girl if she can give me a ride. She was like, I think she said she can't, which like I was fine with because it was like 25 minutes from my own house. I mean, it was in the same direction, but my house was 25 minutes after her house. So 25 minutes extra for her. It's not like it was part of her original drive. So when she said she could, couldn't be out, that I was fine with it. But I was just like, yeah, it was just very, very annoying. And then I ended up leaving at 2 a.m. I got a free ride, but it was just extremely annoying how they kept, like, pushing me to stay and wait. And, like, because I had another, like, gig the next day. So I was trying to go home and get prepared. Because with gigs and stuff here, yeah, like, they send you everything last minute, like, wardrobe details the call time everything is like the night before right so i had to i was like trying to go home and shower and get ready for the next day or like in case i had to wake up early. thankfully my call time for the gig the next day was at noon so it wasn't anything crazy but it was still really really annoying it really was like we need to do so much better i'm never i don't say i'm never going to a nigerian production again but if they're not paying me the big bucks um my name is Casperia. i'm ghosting because you guys yeah you're like you're not serious you're just not serious like you need to do so much better it's so annoying it really is like it's just so so annoying i don't like it at all <laughs> It's very 
like natural gluey hmm. kind of like it i need to do it too i hate like mats i i accidentally bought a matte concealer i accidentally bought a matte concealer i'm like what was i doing what was i thinking how can me a homie buy matte makeup like that is so nice i i actually hate matte makeup just not for my skin <laughs> Maybe if you have really oily skin, but not for me. Eesh, I'm just getting makeup all over my bonnet. This was not the plan. Oh my god! <laughs> sent me she said <laughs> wait there's nobody here why am i covering my mouth <laughs> don't center yourself when you're expressing yourself i'm going crazy <laughs> she said knock who's there easy dot 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 easy who easy body baby you ready girl <laughs> giving pyramid skin vibes well it's crazy i just talked about pyramid skins and then someone sent me this like that's also someone i met on set <laughs> that's so funny you guys some people are actually so annoying there's this girl i knew from like set not not the same person like this girl just talks like she's just one of those people that like when they go to a, a place with plenty people, their intuition or like they are by default, they don't, they are not observant. Like they don't observe, they don't like pay attention, they don't listen. They just go in, talk, 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 like no sense of self-awareness whatsoever. Like literally like a chatter box that doesn't die. Like blah, 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 blah. she can, that girl was, that girl can talk. And it's like, I'm the kind of person that like, whenever I see someone I know, I don't care who you are, I'll say hi to you, like, whether you're the trash guy, you're the president, trash guy as in like, the, um, what's your name, janitor, sorry, whether you're the janitor, you're the president, like, if I know you, I'm going to say hi, some people, I know about their life, and it's fine, if you give me super energy, I won't come to you, that's okay, there are almost 8 billion people. On this planet you don't have to say hi to me if you want to but like so like when i see her i'll say hi right but like i feel like when you associate with people like that and people are going to think that you're also the same and i'm like that's so far from the truth like i'm i get so tired of people that just like don't get tired of talking like i'm not like that at all if you know me you know like i get tired of talking very like very easily very very easily like when my when some of my friends told me that i was an extrovert i was like excuse me i actually got like a little bit offended i was like why do you say i'm an extrovert they're like oh yeah because you know how to talk to people and you know how to socialize i'm like anybody can build their social skills though extrovert doesn't like in, being an introvert doesn't mean that like you can't talk to people it just means that like you prefer to be by yourself or like you just recharge like social situations you can't be there for too long like and it's a spectrum like people vary along the spectrum it's not one extreme or the other extreme you know so yeah but yeah like some people just talk some people just talk to talk to talk to talk to talk to talk, to talk. like you guys I actually kind of missed filming you know? i need to actually be consistent again like i had a good time when i was just like consistent and on my grind like it just feels good to just like set out to do something and actually accomplish it on another note i've literally not gone to the gym since like <laughs> since my vlog oh my god you guys i need i need mad motivation to go back to the gym like it's actually a problem 
go back to the gym and exercise 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 you guys this is also this is a random question but how do you feel about like people that always like are the first to remind you that they are an adult or they always the first to claim that they are adults but they don't act like adults like they don't want to communicate with you they rather act childish about everything like how do you feel about people like that see that's why like i would ghost some people because it just depends like if you're going to bring the emotional maturity the communication if you actually genuinely want to act like an adult then i'm down but if you want to act like a child if you want me to beg you to talk about your feelings if you want me to you know when something is bothering you you want me to like beg you to say it like nah everybody here is responsible for their feelings and responsible for expressing themselves okay if i did something that bothered you you have my number you have my insta you have everything you know how to reach me they say okay like can we talk about this so like just if i just go straight to the point just by told me when you did xyz it didn't say well with me that's fine i'm not going to eat you alive like you can say how you feel it's a relationship it's a friendship like it goes both ways like i don't know why some people are just cowards they would just rather be childish about it or tell everybody about you and it's like really and it's those same people that want to remind you as every given opportunity that they are an adult and they would like to be treated as one i'm like if you don't treat yourself as an adult why should i treat you as such you know <laughs> Guys, this is also like random but do you know something that i hate when children teenagers young adults are like taught to settle it bothers me so much like what do you have to lose in those prime years of your life that you're being told to settle and this is for anything but that is relationships which i don't even want to go into it it's just really pathetic how some people think that as a woman because men don't have these pressures as a woman i'm talking about relationships only men and women relationships you know as a woman it's like there's pressure on you to like you know get married and all of that at a certain age so sometimes even your family members the people that are supposed to have your back first and foremost are the ones pushing you to settle and take whatever you get like excuse me i have such a problem with that and like it's in your early 20s your mid 20s at any age actually it's not okay to settle and even with like jobs as well like parents are like parents are like i talked about this in my african parents like society video like parents african parents a lot <laughs> a lot of like traditional parents so not just african yeah, like they teach their children to settle for traditional corporate nine to five. Oh, you have to do it this way. This is the only way you can do it. You have to do it. You have to. No, you don't have to. Who made those rules? Who did? Let's question it. Who made those rules? You don't have to work a corporate job if you want to be a makeup artist. If you like painting and all of that, like I don't understand why some parents cannot just like nurture what they see their child enjoying and doing so easily and flowing so naturally and then they are forcing them to do the general stuff because it's what will make you money like some people are okay with taking risks when they are younger um that might work in their favor in their favor later on in life it's not everybody that wants to just play it safe every time and just be an ass kisser if i'm going to be frank some people like me we want to take those risks and see how far we can go please like instead of this to support me like you'll be saying oh no you have to do this way you have to work a corporate you have to have to who said who said who said show me tell me who said i don't understand this whole like oh like suffering before you enjoy type of thing that's not my portion please let me finish this video i've talked a lot <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.
thank you guys so much for watching my video i really appreciate it if you got to this point you're honestly such a real one when i become rich i'm going to pay your student loans i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> i wish because i'm still trying to sort myself out over here but yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment in the comments what you'd like to see next are you a fan of this look it's crazy i cut my hair like almost six months ago and like look at the difference between when you guys like saw it when it was freshly cut and now like you just i don't know I, I feel some type of way about this length though like sometimes i'm like ah i wish i gelled it down last night so i could have worn a wig but doesn't matter i still look hot i still like i still look like the queen that i am right yeah Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Good luck with school. I wish you the best if you're a student and everything else. I hope the rest of your 2021 goes well, honestly. Bye!